Welcome everyone, gather around because this is the story of my life. Yeah. Ah. Hey everyone. Um, I pretty much wore this shirt today. It says Red Hot, and the back it says Number Eleven, with our with the sponsor Hungry Howies. Um. Yeah, today is October eighth on a Monday of two thousand twelve, and it's. 4 p.m. sharp. Wow. Um, I had class today. I didn't go with my hair like this. I should have gone. Well, you should have seen it like a few minutes, like how it was an hour ago. It was good. Now it's kind of loose, but I should go on like this because. Oh no. And um, so I have like besides my smiley face to look at you guys. I also have a. No, what I'm gonna write a uh, talk about. So I can't really get off track. So I'm gonna put it right back. So, um, what I'll be talking about today, because I feel like I'm kind of, kind of like feel like talking today. Um, sorry about the lighting. It was good lighting earlier. But I had to re redo the video because I got a lot of interruption. <laughs> A lot so I decided why not just redo it and this time actually write down what I'm talking about because I took a 20 minute talk so I'm um, sorry if I'm looking that way because I'm have a TV on I should as you oh, ignore it. um so yeah I look good like I look good earlier but in this lighting I look really good um well I'll um, today this month of October, if you guys don't know, besides the fact that there's Halloween coming up, it's also ooh, the awareness month for breast cancer. Make sure you save them tatas. I'll put a link below of how to, um, like, more information about breast cancer and, like, how you can check yourself. And guys can get it, too. You guys can get it, too. Um, so I've been looking down, looking at myself, and then I should look at my little smiley face I have right up there. Um, same time, this is like a personal awareness that, um, awareness month for me, because I find out I had it when I went to college. Kind of had a little overwhelming breakdown, but, you know, it's not as bad as majority of people I know that has it, well, that I met, but, um, it's kind of minor. So it's, I guess it's good. Um, bags under my eyes. Um, and which is dyslexia. It's also known, well, yeah, it's dyslexia. So one of the callo, it's one of the learning disorder. And this month is besides breast cancer month, awareness month, it is also dyslexia awareness month. And the color for that besides breast cancer, oh, by the way, breast cancer is pink. And then for dyslexia is silver. So, um, I'll also put a little link below of what is dyslexia and what to do if you want to, you know, support the awareness. And if you have, if you have it, you can, you know, they tell you, not everyone has it, but, you know, I hear people blab about it like nothing, like, oh, I'm such dyslexic or whatever. I'm like, um, it's not good to say that because you're kind of like making fun of someone, like, kind of like saying, oh, I feel gay today and you're not gay, so kind of like offending someone um you know it's really offensive um for some people but to me it's like you know it's still offensive but you know it's like don't want to get into that drama. but anyways um oh and uh don't forget if you guys want to follow me i also have a tumblr and a like page and a blog which i mostly write my blog more often and it's down below i'll put links for my facebook my blog, my Twitter, and my Tumblr, all down below. Also, um, I want to talk about Halloween Horror Nights. I'm actually going, yay. Um, I'll be going by myself though because I was gonna go with friends, but it's kind of like, I want to say last minute, but it's one of those like, wish I will talk about the subject in a few minutes. But I'm actually going to Halloween Horror Nights. I'm actually pretty excited. I saved up for it. Um. And, sorry, I'm going on this Saturday. As much as I want to go 
on a Thursday, Wednesday, and a Friday, but the Friday's expensive, and Saturday's semi expensive. It's like in the middle. Oh, rugby. Anyways, I just saw rugby and football. I'm like, how's that a movie? It's a TV show, I guess. It's a football. Anyways, and um, oh, I have a bug bite. And so, um, I'm excited. If you guys don't know about Halloween Horror Nights, I'll also put a link down below if you guys want to check it out. But what it is, it's like, um, here in Florida, there's a Universal Studios. Not the one in California, but they have one here in Florida, in Orlando. It's Universal Studios. And there's also the Islands of Adventure, and between, like kind of like that splits them in. Like be, to get into the parks, there's also a thing called City Walk, which is free and open for everyone. But um, the Adventure side's open, but they close. You know, I think at nine. But at the Universal side during Halloween, they open. They close down the park early to start the Halloween Horror Nights at like around 6 30 and then they close at midnight like one or two or midnight um and what it is is like when you walk into the park at night they have rides open which I'm pretty much going for I mean I don't want to go to the warehouses I went my freshman year of college which was like two years ago I mean I would be a junior now but because I go to my other college I'm a sophomore so it's just um it's whatever what I've already explained that I think in the video or down in my blog but whatever and what it is you just pretty much walk in and the first thing you see is people in costumes scaring you and then there's this thing called scare zone and what it is you walk you can walk through it I found a way to get around it there's a way to get around I'm just saying just between you and I there's a way to get around it don't tell them I said so but um it's not that bad. That you just walk through, just walk through. I yeah, and but I go around because I rather have people randomly come at me than knowing, than walking through a crowd that I know they're coming towards me. It's creepy. So, um, and then the scare zones are kind of like the, like the ideal thing that's gonna pop up at the warehouse. So when you go to the warehouse. There's a well besides the park. There's a thing called warehouse where they do, where they do movie sets and everything, and storage. Pretty much a lot of things. They it's called warehouse for a reason. They have a line. They split you. You know they tell you where what they have to give you a map. Usually the first warehouse is like the main theme of the whole park. Like my year was. Um, the hallow eve of the past so we had like jason and chucky and uh jason and chucky freddy cougar you know bloody mary we had everything from the oh and then allison and wonder everything blast from the past and um that's how it was it was just everything from the past and then the other other warehouses were like the witches warehouse the the devil's dun the Demons Dungeons and Zombie Land or whatever. This year, the last year was also was like a casino theme. I didn't go. Kind of like didn't, kind of wanted to go, but it's kind of like I can't go. This year, I'm definitely going. I'm like, go. This year is The Walking Dead based on the TV show, which I get, never got a chance to watch it since last, since last year. It's. You know, it came on last year. It's a TV show. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's on AMC. It's a kind of cool TV show. I never get a chance to watch it. It's, and this kid and I were like, oh, we have to watch it so we can talk about it in class. Last year, in my English class. And I still didn't get a chance to watch it. So probably after Halloween Horror Nights, I'm going to start watching the show. Because it's almost a whole year of not watching the show. So, yeah. And... Um, so it's zombies. Oh, brains is what it is. <laughs> um, oh, a picture. Um, yeah, oh, oh, go back to that. <laughs> and so, but the park, the, there's rides open. Last time I went, it was just, 
the Simpson ride, the Man in Black ride, but they closed they closed down by the time we wanted to get on it. I I only went on one warehouse. I couldn't do it anymore. I cried. Like I seriously walked in holding my I was between my two friends and I literally just walked got scared like oh, oh I can't do this I can't do this and I'm like okay I saw him pop out of that corner oh, I watch him he's popping out of the corner oh you, you got me mister I saw you I saw you popped out of the corner boom and then you know the little tunnel it's like a you know like a maze through you can't leave the maze you can't even leave the maze so even if you panic and cry you can't leave <sighs> And so we almost got to the end. By the time we got to the Alice in Wonderland part, I saw the little, the rabbit, the white rabbit on the table. And I looked at it. I'm like, oh, he's going to pop out. and He's going to pop out at us. And then, you know, I already saw people in the, in the mirrors popping, you know, through the mirrors. And then I turned around. And then here's the Mad Hatter going, <laughs> I screamed. I cried and I screamed and I just cried. <laughs> I cried. Oh my god, I cried of fear. <laughs> and the, the sad part is my instincts wanted to punch him. But I like I can't punch it this guy because it, it's an actor. It's you know, a college kid actor who wants to his money. I'll get in trouble. So I'm like can't punch you and so the whole time I was crying and then this this little old lady from one of the past of uh, the blast of the past theme was coming to she's like a four foot lady she was coming towards me I saw her coming out to people but she was coming straight at me when we were turning the corner because she was at the corner and you're walking and you turn this way and there's the exit like one more turn <laughs> she came towards me and I turned around I'm like I'm gonna punch you back for you I was in tears she was probably <laughs> she probably wanted to break character and laugh I, I, <laughs> I just cried the whole time cause I didn't know what to do cause I didn't I couldn't punch I couldn't kick I couldn't you know just sit there and fight them oh my god <sighs> I mean <gasps> <laughs> and so, um, when I find out we we're towards the end, I was like, yes, I <laughs> survived. Still cried, still feel like an epic failure. But though, then again, so I'm like, okay, I survived. I survived. It was it was near the end, though. It was near the end. Near the end. Because seriously, it was like the Alice in Wonderland. And then I just cried, cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. And cried. Cried, cried, and exit. I'm like, Phew. I mean, it's fat. Like the line is long, but it's a kind of like a like you pretty much. They don't stop you. They don't go like, okay, five people, three people. No, they just you just continue. You can you just continue. So, yeah. Whew. Yeah. That's scary. And um. Whew. And after that, I was like, I just like, okay, you know, guys, I mean, I actually bruised my friend's arm and shoulder, like, really bad, and almost broke my friend's hand, because I was, you know, trying to, can't punch, can't fight back. <laughs> Ooh, that's why it's best to go with the guy, because you can hurt him. He has to be tough about it. Um, so yeah, and... I rode on the rides. The rides, okay, the rides were open. That It was Simpson. I think I repeated this. Oh, I didn't finish it. That's right. It was the Simpson. The Man in Black, they were closed when we were wanting to get on the ride. Then we went on Jaws before it closed. There's no more Jaws. At least we had fun. And the Jaws were, oh, and then they had the, um, the Mummy ride. But I think the rock and roller coaster was on, but we didn't know how to get there. But we had to leave anyways. So, this time, there's a lot of more rides open, so I'm so excited. Yeah! But the uh, Jaws ride it was my last ride riding it. It, <laughs> it was on Halloween Horror Nights. 
that red. Okay, so we were like, oh, this red's boring because, you know, the shark's going to come up and ah! So my friend and I decided, well, I kind of thought, why don't we, like, why don't we, like, change it up? And then she came up with the, my, my friend came up with the idea was we scream after the shark comes up. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. And then my other friend was like, uh, we don't look stupid. I'm like, oh, come on. It's fun. It makes the ride more spontaneous. It makes the ride more funny. And then she's like, you know, it was kind of like, mm -hmm. well, we did it. We were the three girls in the front. And there's a the shark. Everyone screams. You know, and then the guy <laughs> that has to speak his scripts, because they have a script where they have to say, you know, the same script over and over again. He had to stop and stare at us like, you girls, okay? you guys okay? And he's giving us the eye like, mm. And then I think he thought we were drunk, but we're underage. So he was like, hmm. And, and, and we keep doing it. He's like, seriously, guys? Do you have, like, issues? Are you guys okay? <laughs> We're okay. We won't do it again. Bah! Ah! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's so funny. And then, after the mummy ride, um, there's these zombie soldiers marching, coming to And I'm like, that one soldier targeted me. He knows I have, like, that fear and I can't punch him or anything. So I started, like, his, here's us, the, tri the trio. I started walking away. There I am, walking away. And my two friends, <laughs> two friends, they were like, oh, they're just marching. They're not going to do it. I'm like, I'm like this, that, I'm like five feet away from them. <gasps> Coming towards us. They, the guy eyeballed me. Coming towards it, they saw the weakest link, and it's me. <laughs> I'm easy target. Ah! So I was kind of like, you know, they're coming towards me, being obvious about it too. Then all of a sudden, you hear the whistle blow or the some kind of something like that. It was something military. That one guy came to me, come towards us. <laughs> they screamed. I bolted sprinted off, like, jumped over the benches, like, there's the, like, you know, like, there's a bench, and there's, and there's the back, and there's the bench, and then, you know, it's on, yeah, so I jumped over that, like, a hurdle, well, my hands, of course, you know, got, don't have the power to hurdle over, like, an Olympian, but then I jumped over that, ran behind the lemonade stand, and just hid there, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and then there's cops right there, too, standing there, and then one of them turned around, like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah zombie guys are after my friends and I. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you must be new. <laughs> yep. Are you? Oh, no, you guys are real. Okay. Apparently they were attending someone who had a heart, who like having heart, had a heart, I was going to, I want to say a heart attack, but they're, you know, going through cardiac arrest. Like, I don't know, something like that. And, um, you know, after that we kind of like, walked out it was fun I had a great time and then can't wait to go back again I'm just going through really I'm just gonna ignore everything go on the rides I still want to do is ride the rides and I'm so excited because at the Islands of Adventure area that's where the Spider-Man ride and Harry Potter land I get to go to Harry Potter land I'm so excited. <laughs> and Jurassic Park Oh, and, and, um, oh, I finally get a chance, my whole life here in Florida, every single time I go to Islands of Adventure, I never get a chance to ride the Hulk. Yes, the Hulk. Since it was built, I never got a chance to ride it. What's sad about it was my sophomore year, when we had a chorus trip there, we my friend and I, it was like kind of like last minute, right? It was like one of those, okay, you have more, you have a few minutes to get on a ride. So we're like, yes, we're on time. By the time we got to the ride, like we actually got to the line to like where we can get in. She's like, okay, after this ride, we have to sprint back. Otherwise, we, you know, we left, we won't be left here, but you know, they become looking for us. We're like, okay, yes. We ended up being in the back. 
I'm like, well, I like the back because that's the scary part. That's the scariest part ever. Really. I didn't care where we sit. And we were, at, you know, they closed the seats in. And I'm like, yeah! I couldn't breathe. I was like, calm down. I'm like, you have no idea what looks like. Sorry, I am. I was like, I already have my face smiling for the whole ride. <laughs> How weird, I'm telling you. And we're like going up and all you hear is click, 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 click. And then he's, we're like, okay. And what's happening? Are we going to like sprint off? <sighs> we're sorry. We're having some technical difficult man <laughs> malfunctioning with the roller coasters. Please, act please excuse our... <laughs> problem or something like that so they have to open and I'm like <laughs> I started I didn't want to cry for the people so I just like <sighs> and I just like walked the whole way back all sad <sighs> but this time I'm gonna ride the ride now that I'm going by myself <laughs> so excited. Yay. Um you have no idea how excited I am. Um oh yeah, and since I'm you're probably wondering well, why Benito, why are we going by yourself? Well what happened is I asked my friends if they wanted to go. Some of my one of my friends. Well, I can't say one of them. A few of my friends. Because okay. this is a group thing. If they wanted to go. And, you know, it was like kind of like Two weeks a week before it was going to open that way it was like we had like a almost a four week planned out before we can go turned out oh i could go but then i have to like save up and then i can't go because it's gas i can't go because i don't like the food or i can't go because i don't like the rides i can't go because i have school function going on function on a Saturday and a Sunday um okay okay um well okay so I kind of got kind of got mad I'm like I thought you guys were more adventurous That's the thing about when you when you have friends, you need to kind of like categorize your friends. You have the friends you can hang out with, the friends you can do things with, your go-to friends, and then the, you have to have a friend, a group of friends that pretty much can do all three and exotic things. And of course, you need friends to do exotic things with. So what I mean is like you have friends that you hang out constantly over and over again. You have some from that group that also does the, um, the will do group, as in, let's go to the beach, sure. Or you also have those group. What I mentioned, hang out, the to go. I know the exotics up here. What was this one? Something I forgot. Woo. Um. But yeah, and, you know, I kind of want, you know, I have friends of all, but I really want a friend that can do exotic things in all three. Oh, the, to be their friend, the can-do friend, I think that's what I said, and I should write it down, and the hangout friend, and of course the exotic friend that can do all. And that, like, if you have a friend that can do all four, I don't know, then they're best friends. But, um, besides the best friend, like, you know, the closest friend that they know all, everything, I have one best friend that knows a lot. A lot. She knows all the secrets. <laughs> she knows who she is. I have one friend who I grew up with. I have another friend, she's like an older sister. And I have one more who's kind of like the hangout friend. Yeah. We like salads. But, yeah. But mainly, mostly these three are like the, 
she knows he doesn't know but we know each other like he knows she wait she's like an older sister he's like he knows how weird i can get she knows how weird i can get and she knows a lot of things that i could just talk so that's how it is and then of course this one doesn't yeah so um yeah i'm not saying names or anything so in case you guys were crying so yeah and um majority of people i have friends with are hang out Hang out, hang out, hang out. Eh, I can go if I can. You know, I understand, like, the money issue and stuff like that. But if you're going to encourage and you talk about the things you do, like, if you're like, you know, I always go that place. And then you, when you want to go, they're like, eh, I can't go. <laughs> Next thing we just want to punch him in the face. Um, but yeah, I wish I had some exotic friends that would actually do crazy things with me. Like, save up. At least. I, I can save up. If I, have to, I mean, it's part of my diet. <laughs> no. I can't say diet. My healthy living. Eating living. But yeah. Oh, this video is long. Sorry, guys. Um... So yeah, think about, kind of like go through your mind right now and think about what kind of friends do I have? Like pick out names and like, who are they? What are they? Like, you know, and then you, of course you have like your friends that you're friends with, but you don't do nothing with, but they still count as friends because you talk to them sometimes when you can. Or you also have acquaintances, which there are a few acquaintances I have, but mainly because if I become friends with them, it's like... It's like, it's like, so, yeah. Um, that's, I guess that's it for today. I guess I'm going to do, I'm going to do another video. And I'm going to do another video. So I'm going to do two videos. So, sorry this is long. I hope you guys have, like, a cup of water and snack. And, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I hope you guys like, oh, and don't forget Comment below if you have friends issue like that, or do you have a best friend, or do you have if you are going to Halloween Horror Nights or what? I'm still looking down. I have to look up. Look at my smiley face. Look at that. I have to stare at that, and I keep not staring. I'm just looking at myself. You know what? I'm gonna do this. Perfect. I should have thought of. I am so. Wow. <laughs> this whole time. Great, now I'm looking at my background and people are going to, like, well, not people, but if I were to talk like this, people are going to think, she's talking to her computer. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, if you know anyone with dyslexia or you want to support dyslexia, check out the links below and don't forget to comment. Oh, and if you are a breast cancer survivor or you're fighting it or um, if you survived, you're fighting it or you have it or something like that. Let me know, or if you know anyone, let me know below. We can all pray. We can all get together and be like, let me help you. But, um, yeah, I'll put the links below, and hope you guys enjoy. Ah. Peace out, home. I need an ending. Peace out, home. Don't forget to subscribe above, right above my head. Don't forget to like my page. It's right below my video. Also, follow me down below in the description bar if you want to be my friend. Yeah.